Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Speed Simulator. My name's Impractical and I've did it. I've got me the free limited UGC of Summer Sonic. And he looks adorable. Look at him. Sitting right there on my shoulder, happy, hanging along. Uh ignore the uh ugly looking character. I don't really play Roblox for anything but Sonic Speed Simulators. As you guys can see, if I got this, then that means I also got Where is Red Android Shadow? My god, there's a lot of characters here. Red Android Shadow. I also unlocked Blue as well from the spin wheel. I am lucky. Thank God. That took forever and I thought I was going to miss it. Um, oh, it looks like I never bought Pink when it came out. Okay, so when Pink comes back around, I got to go pick up Pink. And then I got my Android Shadow collection complete unless another one comes out. Hopefully another one does not come out because these are a lot of Android Shadows. But there you go. I've gotten him so far. And this is uh, this is nice. My thoughts on the events. I love it. I love it. I love the competition idea. I do feel like it's a little cheaty, though, and I'll get into it because I'll make a guide about how collecting chaos orbs quickly and efficiently can work for you. But um, it is kind of cheating, though, because uh, I, I do have this little if you follow my mouse arrow, I have this. And that is a little cheaty, in my opinion. But, um, you know, yeah, I wasn't panicking trying to do it because uh, they were going out really fast and I did this kind of late. So I'm happy I got it. Uh, let's see for the update. So we got ourselves a big update here in the hub, hub world. Uh, let's look at the bundle shop. Look at this. Beautiful. So we got ourselves the prime sale going on and we also got the classic sale going on, which is not bad. If you want, you can pick up these skins. They are gorgeous. I do love the classic, especially because of the sound effects. So I'll give me one minute to put that on screen. It is a gorgeous skin, especially for these events. And it gives the classic sound effects. It's such a nice touch to hear these sound effects, especially for Classic Sonic. Ah, oh, you gotta love that. Such a beautiful thing. I will let you know, I learned the hard way regarding the daily claims. You notice we've been getting dailies for logins. Now, I found out if you're not consecutively doing it, it'll reset. That's kind of bad on my part because now I, I didn't get uh, cream when I was supposed to already. So sucks i'm gonna have to be doing it right now consistently but that is just a reminder you should see it on screen i'm almost there i, I should be getting wait i already have writer's cream now that we're back into our ooh, i don't know what that was okay so we got the sale going on here for each of the writers which is nice i uh, gotta love that honestly i love how all the writers are available i have all these skins already and we have a pet sale going on if we're looking at the pet sale uh pretty pretty abysmal i already have these chow so if you want to see them this is what it looks like at level 25 fuse for shadow we have shadow doing an exorbitant amount of damage look at that that's nuts for him the luck is what's really key here honestly if you're gonna pick up anything i would suggest picking up the shadow chow because that luck boost makes a big difference especially on the vending machines next on the agenda for the updates let's look at the race okay so for the race we've got something special here we have race suit tails race suit amy both for 1250 a piece we also have race suit sonic coming back again which is good to see a returning skin a lot of people missed out on this one remember you do have an entire month to get it if anything i could recommend if you're spending robux get the double urn that does come in handy I can make a guide on, I didn't make a guide previously on how to complete the event based on the last one and how efficient it is. Uh, same rules apply. Unfortunately, it is dependent on the number of racers you have in your race and also the place you, well, the placement you get at the end of the race. Uh, we do have a full moon child, white knight child, snowboarder child, knuckles child returns, which I wonder if this is the best chow right now. I'm going to have to be grinding out race tickets the entire month and then make a compilation guide for this race shop. So uh, give me about a week or so, and then I should come out with a race guide to let you guys know how everything pans out. We got the Amy Blur Trail, which is a nice touch. And we also have the Tails Workshop Trail, which, again, is also good to look at. So uh, guide will be coming out for the race shop in about 10 days. So give me 10 days, grind that out. And then you guys should see a double upload, a new race map. We have metal madness, city escape race, Emerald coast. We also have metal city, but we also have the green hill race zone, which is a nice addition. Green hill race. Honestly, if I could keep doing green hill, it'll be perfect. Cause I could just get as many race tickets as possible. That might be the new meta at this point. 
Now that I'm looking at it, because if I could complete it within 30 seconds on average, like this guy up here. If you could complete it in 30 seconds on average, like this player right here. You should be able, theoretically, to get at least 25 tickets every 30 seconds. That's 50 tickets per minute. This is without including uh, the event races like Metal Sonic or Jet the Hawk. So, yeah, you can actually do this pretty fast. And I'm going to be honest, this might be the best way to go about it. It used to be... Uh, hmm... Yeah, Metal Madness used to be the faster one, but this this might be the best bet to do it. So I'm just going to recommend this. I'm not even going to do research. It feels like the best one to go about it. So, all right, let's see if we can pull this off just right. All right. Try to stay on course. Oh. Try to stay on course. Oh, wow, this looks nice. Let's talk chaos orbs. Okay, so if you have a Chao with a plus 100 ring buff, you're going to notice, okay, every ring you pick up equals 100 rings because the value is tied to the quantity. Now, for with a Chao with plus 100 XP, that does not equal plus 100 chaos orbs. It only equals the value you get from it so every chaos orb only equals one chaos orb it doesn't matter how much xp buff you have on a child or your trail you're just going to get that amount so that being said you want to look for areas that have a high concentration of chaos orbs green hill is a big recommendation because you can easily loop around the entire map in order to get the most chaos orbs and then go through every other path on your way you also have Lost Valley. A lot of those tracks have high concentration of Chaos Orbs. Emerald Hill, I would not recommend because that area is just dead as it can get. Um, the reason why is there's too far apart areas of Chaos Orbs and not enough gain. It's, there's not a long trail of Chaos Orbs there compared to the other maps. New York City being the best place to get Chaos Orbs. Now, the reason why I listed the other two is because not every player has made it to New York City yet. So you have those options to work with. Now, remember, it's Green Hill, Lost Valley, not Emerald Hill, but 100% would recommend New York for having the most Chaos Orbs you can gain and within a short time. Now, when it comes to grinding out these, uh, there are a few things that can make it easier. Magnets. If you have a child with a magnet enchantment, which you will see on screen, those will boost your ability to collect chaos orbs and any pickable item, uh, items or experience like rings, uh, certain event items, and also chaos orbs. The magnet chows come in super handy because again, it just pulls those to you. The more you have, the more bigger radius of a pull you got. Now, another way to go about it is a pay to win, which is the infinite magnet. That makes it super easy for collecting this, which again, I feel like the event was a little cheating for more pay to win players. As a free-to-play player, it's going to be a lot harder to collect, especially when you're competing with people who have infinite magnet, i.e. myself included in that who has an infinite magnet, and it can be quite difficult. I will let you know when I started this event, there was only seven, around 700 or a little under 700 UGCs left. So I was grinding this out for about two hours at most, and I was able to complete the event. That's because of infinite magnet. Now, when it comes to other things, it can get a little bit tricky, but that's the complete breakdown when it comes to Chaos Orbs. An idea I have of doing a guide for free-to-play players, I'm not sure if that's something you guys are interested in, but I can start a fresh account and show you how I would go about each role and completing each of the tasks that are currently available and building up your account as efficiently as possible. I do like making quick, easy guides, and if that is a series you like to see starting from zero and up, and Sonic Speed Simulator, that is something I can do. But again, that's if there's interest. And if there is, please leave a comment down below. But so far, that is my quick breakdown when it comes to collecting Chaos Orbs. All right, I think that wraps it up for this video. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like and subscribe. Or if you have any suggestions for the channel or my videos, please leave a comment down below. I would appreciate that. I do read all comments and I do try my best to reply to all of them. This has been Impractical. I'm your host. Remember to stay fast, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.